Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? HTG Brian back with some more LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. This is level 44, the strength to do it. Free play! We're gonna get all six of those Kyber Bricks, that true Jedi status of 75,000, as well as all five mini kits, and of course, the three challenges. Now, one of the challenges, Dark Lord of the Surf, requires us to lure Kylo into the range of a crashing wave in the final sequence. We actually did that on accident and story, but don't worry, we'll show you where to do it here in the free play. If you're in a hurry to get there, feel free to use those quick links down below. Now, we also have another challenge called Shocking, which requires us to activate a dangerous electrical hazard. We're gonna do that in the final section as well, but most importantly to note, the Golden Opportunity Challenge, find a route through the Death Star without opening opening any doors. Just make sure you follow along in this video and do not solve the puzzle in the little control room where you have to split one of your protocol droids into two. Just don't do that and follow along with the other terminal we use and you should be good to go. Speaking of good to go, when you're ready, let's go ahead and choose the strength to do it and free play and let's jump right in. Now, because this is free play, all non-essential gameplay and cutscenes have been removed. And we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the battle with Kylo Ren. Now, basically we need to depleter his meter and then the story's gonna want us to progress and follow him, but we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna hang out here. There is a wall behind us that can be actually carved out with his lightsaber and behind it at the bottom of the trail is going to be our first mini kit. So, like I said, the story wants us to follow Kylo as it's pushing us towards this big platform. But we are going to want to turn around and use our lightsaber to go ahead and carve a giant hole in the far right wall. Now, of course, the true Jedi status is actually pretty easy to accumulate throughout the level. In fact, we have a pretty high score by the time we get done. After the last couple of levels though, it was a little bit of a grinder, so I felt obligated to go ahead and grab some studs. Plus we're trying to get that, well, eight million would be our goal. I don't think we're gonna make it though. In fact, we're barely gonna hit six, I think. Which is fine, but we kind of had our hopes set on getting a larger multiplier with our next data card. But it's all good. We'll, we'll get them all no matter what. It is all gravy. All right, down at the bottom of this little ramp here in a secret little compartment, we've got ourselves the first mini kit. Now we're going to go ahead and make our way back just to where we were. However, we're going to switch to a character that has a jetpack. You don't really need to do this. It just almost ensures your safety while jumping over these gaps. Now we got two of them and we're actually going to turn around and use this ramp to go up top and into this second story hallway. At the end of the hallway is going to be a spot where we can sort of yeet ourselves off to the left and there should be a mini kit floating up there. My best advice is to use a bounty hunter with a jetpack because they can also grapple. As you can see, I did kind of a cuckoo combo where I jumped out, glided for a bit and then grappled my way up there collecting that mini kit. Now there's another way up here too. If you find that you're having trouble, feel free to use that. But down below, before you bounce out of here, or maybe while you are trying to get up to that mini kit, make sure you take out the first of three. They're like weird aliens. I'm not even sure what they are. If you happen to know what those little, uh, they kind of almost look like old Nessie, right? They like, kind of look like a Lego Nessie, but uh, I don't think that's what it is. I'm sure there's a real term for that. Let me know down below in the comments. That would be super helpful. Now, as we make our way back to where we just came from, we're gonna find this second one hiding behind a pillar on the left-hand side, right at the base of that ramp. And then we're gonna all go all the way to the end of this hallway where stuff starts to tumble. We got a little bit of a shimmy, shimmy, shimmy there. And then uh, we're gonna wanna focus on this box. We're actually gonna grab onto it by hitting the icon indicator to push it down the checkerboard path and push it off the ledge, which is gonna give us access to this grapple point. Now, inside this room is going to be the third and final alien that we have to smash. Make sure you do not solve this puzzle. If you open the door, you're going to fail challenge number one for us, which is golden opportunity. That's right. If you open that door, you're going to miss a golden opportunity. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, so we'll go ahead and switch to a villain character and use this terminal that was hiding behind some debris. Of course, for us, it's right up, left, right. It's likely gonna be different for you, but just make sure you match them up and it should give us access to the other side via this little side walkway here. Now, at the same time, we're also getting the true Jedi status, which is pretty nice, but you're gonna wanna make sure you don't carve through that wall and don't go in there and solve it to open that door. What we wanna do is switch to a bounty hunter and melt that goo 
move up top. That's right. It's going to also reveal a grapple point and a purple stud, which will push us over the top. And uh, which, you, well, we were, we were already over the top. But you get what I'm saying. It pushes way over the top. And, of course, we get through this doorway without having to open it, giving us that challenge, the golden opportunity. All right, so we got like a minute, minute and a half where we have to fight Kylo before it drops us down below. But then we grab onto that handheld, and then it takes us into a cutscene, and then we really fall down below. Once we get down there, we're going to toggle over to BB-8 and sneak into a side room, which is going to give us mini kit number four. And then we're going to make our way out into the final battlegrounds where we've got two more challenges we need to get done, did. Now, they're both pretty simple, but they are kind of time-based. At least they seem to be. So it's definitely going to be recommended that maybe you pause your game and watch our playthrough to see how we do it so that when you get there, you don't fumble through it and maybe have to replay the level. And I only say that because the waves and the shocking are definitely... I think the shocking you have a better chance at doing more often. Well, the waves almost seemingly, you only get a couple of them. I get hit by a ton of them, if I'm being honest, but uh, yeah. All right, so there was a quick little cutscene that we removed there. It might have been actually a bad edit, if I'm being honest. But uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and toggle over to BB-8. If you don't have him out, make sure you select him. Slide on through. You could probably use a halfy of a port protocol droid. Uh, you got probably a few options there. But we just went ahead and used BB-8 because he seemed like the obvious choice. All right, so as we make our way out onto the final battlegrounds here, we are going to want to focus on the waves and, of course, the grapple plugs along the way. Now, we're going to get an example of what a wave looks like. So this is what you're looking for. You want to see the red and sort of white slash marks across the bottom there as the caution area, and you're going to want to lure Kylo into that to get him smashed. Now, keep in mind, you could have accidentally got the surf challenge i almost called it a trophy uh during the story mode there it is quite possible and i think because you had bb8 out you could probably get your grapple on and maybe get the shocking challenge as well but that's what we're going to focus on right now as you can see on the right hand side we've got a pole grapple point there and we've got some water on the ground we're actually going to stand in the water to lure kylo to it and then get our grapple on and shock him Here's the thing though, once you activate it, it's still shockingly dangerous. So make sure you watch out for those. Meanwhile, we're actually gonna smash three of these sort of, I don't know, they're like canisters of sort. Uh, there's, all three of them are right here on this section. So make sure you grab them before you advance. And of course you can locate them if you have the collectible detector on. There should be some blue halos around them. Now right here, I do believe is an opportunity for you to get your splash on. But, you know, we kind of stalled for a minute and we didn't get any caution markers. So we just went ahead and advanced the story a little bit. And it turns out there's a pretty, what seems to be scripted moment that you could probably land your wave on him. That's right, get your splash. Instead of the smash, you get the splash. <laughs> All right, so give him the old cha-cha-cha-cha-cha. Of course, keep in mind, if you have not got that true Jedi yet, which I can't believe that's even a possibility for you, if you got that purple stud by skipping the door opening, and I mean, I just feel like there's almost no possibility, especially if you got a 2X stud multiplier on. All right, meter depleted. We're going to lock up here and spam, 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 spam. So we should be about to a minor cutscene that'll show a giant wave come crashing in. We're going to advance to the next spot. Uh, this is going to be the chance for you to splash him. Be looking for a short animation where the fish lands on his head. All right, check. We've got it. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to sort of slip by him and continue to walk away from him backwards. We're going to do this until we see the wave caution spot, and it should drop it right on him as he is feeling pretty feisty and aggressive trying to take you down. Now hopefully you got that done dead, and if you collected that challenge and all of the mini kits, you actually could use the save and exit feature. That is of course if you got that true Jedi Steadi as well. But keep in mind, guys, we only have three more challenges and five more mini kits to collect, which is pretty epic, if I'm being honest. There's like my third or fourth time dying by the surf. <laughs> oh, boy, this was not my best battle here. Although, uh, in the end, we do win, so we got that going for us, which is nice. All right, we'll go ahead and complete a couple of quick time events. Actually, I guess it's just one. And then we got, this is where we do the backflip through the fog. 
So yeah, uh, we are basically almost at the end here. We have one more sequence and we need to do a little bit more cha -chawing. That's right, you gotta shake out that water, bro. <laughs> uh, it's definitely not as effective when wet, like most uh, of those electronic items, I guess. I, I mean, it's kind of electric, right? I mean, I don't know. And, and that's a good question. Like, how do they never show those things being charged? Like, how does the lightsaber actually work? And what determines how long the actual, like, laser part is, right? Like, I got lots of questions. I'm sure there's some answers out there, but I do. I have lots of questions. All right, uh, meter almost halfway depleted. Once we get it almost to the end, it should do a lockup sequence where we have a couple of quick time events to get done dead. And, of course, I think I get splashed and smashed, like, two or three more times. Maybe not. Uh, what, what's going on here? Come on, fight back. Do something. All right. Uh, oh, spam, 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 spam. Here it is. We got a couple of QTEs, quick time events. Once they're completed, it'll take us away to the final cutscene, which actually has been removed. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, guys, this is going to be one of the final times we land in the hangar on Hoth. Of course, you know, we do have one more level of free play, and uh, it's been stated that we probably won't start with Hoth. Although, if my notes check out, I might not have to. And what's Jar Jar doing there? Now, fun fact, as we get our stud total counted up here, there was an update on the game as of today's recording. So, this morning I woke up, and before I even got going, I noticed that my PlayStation 5 had updated the game thus changing some things one of them is is now the second character is visible and i thought that was kind of weird we're going to acknowledge that in a second but hey we got all three of those challenges done did as you notice the one was done in the story which is why it popped up first the other two were completed in free play although we showed you all three places to get them done did and of course we showed you where all five of those mini kits are including those three aliens <laughs> i'm not sure what those guys were but what, what are you doing, Jar Jar? Like, seriously. And, and, and is that Jar Jar or is that one of the other? I have a hard time figuring out some of these guys and their variants. Ugh, a little confusing for old man Brian Brain. But, hey, guys, that's going to wrap it up for Level 44, The Strength to Do It. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the free play version of this level. And if you did, don't forget to click that like button down below. Of course, HappyThumbsGaming.com is the home of our trophy achievement guides and more. Big time shout out to Tyler P. for putting this one together for me and you guys, I suppose to uh feel free to check that out and of course as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time so